Play Deck is not just a simple video player, but it also offers a wide range of useful additional features. Most of them can be found by simply right-clicking on an entry in the playlist. For example, you can get a clip preview on your monitor, or assign multiple clips with a smooth transition effect. You may want to manually adjust the volume of the different clips. That is also possible, of course. However, it is much easier if you use the built-in replay gain function. Playdeck automatically adapts the individual videos to a consistent, perceived loudness. Very useful. If you want to trim a clip or divide it into multiple sequences, simply set in and out points accordingly. You can even do that at the same time as playback is playing from the playlist. You already know that with Playdeck, you can easily organize your playlist into playback blocks. For each block, you can freely choose whether it should loop, for example, or stop at the end of the last frame. Live productions are always spontaneous, so you may need to skip a clip on demand or you may not want to use it at all during a rehearsal. Just uncheck the green check mark on the left. Speaking of rehearsals, the jump button is also very useful for quickly jumping to just before the end of a clip. You can choose the time left still to be played or alternatively change the jump key into a next key. Another highlight saved for the end, the overlay and action buttons at the bottom of the screen. Actions are quickly accessible stored videos. When the playback ends, they continue seamlessly after the interrupted clip. Overlays consist of transparent layers that are in front of the actual signal. These can be logos or station IDs or entire scrolling banners. You can see here how many overlay possibilities there are. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.